tonight on EA Sports. Super Bowl 63. San Antonio Express. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champions taking on the NFC champions. Sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. Tenth pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm, and that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former Major League pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs? and 10 now from the 30. And right side, they're going to go option here. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches. Now Mahomes. He's got his tight end. Complete. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 46 yard line. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Rolling to his right. Now he'll pull it down. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16 yard gain. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice game. At the 30-yard line. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's brought down, but not before. A really nice stiff arm to create a little space. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 
His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. They'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave them with a third and seven. A gain of a yard brings up third and seven. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And it's caught. Touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. An extra point tacked on by Lambeau, and it's now a 7-0 game. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Cooper on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. I agree <laughs> with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. Random to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. This seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? A gain of six there on first. Second and four at their 49-yard line. And that'll be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Brings up third down and four. They'll look to throw again. And that's one there going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. A shotgun snap and a give to Dalbert. And they get him down, but not before he 
takes it across the 40-yard line. That's good. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. to Dobbins on first. Seventeen more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle. I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out and right up the middle. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And here's a quick throw out to Mims. That catch good for only a couple. Denzel Mims. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. From the 38, Mahomes. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. stretch that lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. And it's good to make it 14-0. A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. 28-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking downfield. Caught right side, he's got his man. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. 39 yards. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And a long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Takes it at the seventh. 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First down and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And he is inching closer to that 100-yard mark. And that's the goal. That's the benchmark that every runner in the NFL is trying to get to. And he's locked in on it pretty well right now. And I would suspect that his linemen are locked in pretty well, too. They know that if a guy gets over 100 yards, they've done a great job, too. You think every starter sort of has a number 100 in his mind before a game? I guarantee that they do. That's what they think about. That's what they dream about. That's what they visualize during practice all week. 100 yards, because once you get there, it's almost like you hit that number, boom, you might even get the two. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 42. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. And he'll get across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not... Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the defense. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Good job starting on that scramble. Had his eyes on that first down marker, CD, but lost the most important thing, the football. Yeah, wasn't quite there. Focused solely on getting to the first down marker. Forgot to cover up and take care of the ball. Boston's offense ready to go again. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. On second down now, it's Barrett. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. 14, bat seven. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, he's broken off some big time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it when you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises. And he's running with terrific ability right now. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Bates. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Number 18. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Brings up second and five at the 12-yard line. And that is incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw here. field position on that drive but couldn't do anything with it after three plays have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position when that drive started they had six points that they were thinking about now on fourth down out comes the field goal unit here and his kick here is good and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14 10 Press 14. That's 10. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. 
but that's actually okay. They got three points, and we'll give their defense a little bit of rest. Let them settle down over there. So all in all, to me, that's a good drive. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a 1,000-yard mark. I'm wondering, since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to up that a little. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. No gain on the play. He's throwing his Mahomes on third. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Third and one. Mahomes, he lost the football. like a running back going through the line. Quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now this time, Mahomes will throw. Over the middle of Smith. Before they're inside the 25. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. How about this? They'll try the option, left side. mistake but as it turns out they keep possession you can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone and I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands fortunately for him able to get picked up by his team fumble recovered they still have an opportunity deep in the red zone from down at the 12 it's first and 10 an option handoff here to Dobbins and he'll be taken down at the two yard line Oh, now Hopkins, slow to get up here. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Brings up second and goal. On second down, Dobbins. And he 
He will take this one in for a touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. He's having a nice little game. Maybe already has an eye on that third touchdown. And how about what our producer, Christian McLeod, likes to say when they've scored touchdowns like this? He's put a tent up in Touchdown City. Lambo on for the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Brings up second and four. He'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. The pass. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. And two. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So first and 10 now from the 30. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Bates. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball to the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And he will take it in for the touchdown. Yeah. A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. 
CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Extra point up and through. And it's now 21-17. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they will ring it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's already cruised past the 100 yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously, his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here at the 35-yard line. Airing it out deep for Smith. This is caught at the 20. And touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum, but not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Lambeau to add on the extra point. Pushes the lead up to 11. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Josh and Lambeau now after the touchdown. He'll kick this one away. Cooper on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Austin's offense ready to go again. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. There's some guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Back to throw now on first down. To win any route. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Yes, now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Throw left side complete. That's Saunders. On the other side of midfield at the 45. And they get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. It's now third down. Out of the gun now on third down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Bates. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it to combine 33 yards. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A first and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Now another timeout called for by the offense. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And he whips that one incomplete there. 
after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. It's now second and ten. That's caught. Touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up when we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. Fun to watch. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. That's 24. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. From the six. A dangerous return man showing it here. And all in all, pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And now running right through it. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Make it happen! Get it! Get it! Mahomes now on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. He'll try and run it. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Working with a second and four. Here's Mahomes to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. On third down, here's Dobbins. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. So it's halftime here on Sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half to find out? We give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Down and 10 at their own 31-yard Boston's offense ready to go again. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? 
I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Throw left side complete. That's Young. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First and 10 at the 28 yard line. Now on first down, he'll drop the thrower. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Second down and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and two. They'll keep it on the ground. Barrett. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? you got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. From the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. His throw caught right around the six. And he will be brought down at about the six yard line. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one, number five. And he'll give it here to his running back. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Brings up second and goal. And it's caught. Touchdown. Touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And his guys have taken the lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned 
because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. On second down now, Dobbins. Yeah, he pushed this forward only to about the 42-yard line. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. Brings up third down. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Fired quickly here, and that's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. At the 40-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 16 yards, a first down. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. from eight yards out. And his guys are going to retake the lead. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, and we've already seen examples in this contest, that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, Are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spot? But they have to come up with options, because right now, he's hurting him. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. 31. Josh Lambeau. And Lambeau now after the touchdown. He'll kick this one away. Cooper on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. First and 10. At their own 29-yard line. Austin's offense ready to go again. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth, and who's going to make the play that changes that? That maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Barrett. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Second and 12. play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down and 12 yards to go and that is incomplete this defensive coordinator 
coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessful. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. now at the line ready for their next drive and they will simply Charles be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six and they hope it'll be that easy right to be able to take exactly what happened before replicate it they have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out they'll roll them out right 15 yards on the play first down Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Mahomes going to throw. His throw incomplete. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. Here's Dobbins. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. A gain of 13. It's a first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And right side, they're going to go option here. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Mahomes firing complete. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. It's on the pickup. It's second and inches. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Mahomes took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and he'll force the incompletion. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong, but I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll run. It's Dobbins. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. J.K. Dobbins with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. 
And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. And the lead will grow by one more. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. At their own 28-yard line. Austin's offense ready to go again. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. On play action, they'll throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there second down and then incomplete brings up second and ten now this one to his tight end out on the right side they do get a couple but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up the offense on third down tonight they've hit four of seven this is third and eight out of the gun they'll look to throw and he fires one but incomplete as he'll come on to kick this one away. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. At their own. Back out comes San Antonio. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead. Fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. And the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And this is going to go the other way. The defense has it. A fumble on the play. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two score game. So hold on here. Not done in the fourth. Austin's offense ready to go again. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. And time to see what this offense has left in the tank. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Over the middle complete. That's Bates. The pass. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Decent start to the drive there. Of course, they need the touchdown, two-point conversion, and a field goal. Yeah, those guys are into it. Oh, 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 fumble. It's out. It's loose. That's good. Wow. That ball is knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, uh, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Ball on the eight, second and two. Brought down at the eight-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. They'll keep it on the ground. Barrett. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That's good. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this First football game. The two-yard line. They'll try to run this one in. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal. On second down. It's Barrett. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. So he's in for his third score of the game. And defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. 
is bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets them apart from the rest of the game, and no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful, and the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get into a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. From the six. Oh, good return up past the 30. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. At their own 33 yard. Back out comes San Antonio. Now, Charles, of course, you got to remember, last possession they fumbled. It led to a touchdown. One score game here. Got to be careful. And this is where coaching and training really comes into play, doesn't it? What, is it? what does everyone say after an error? Next play, move on, next try. That mantra has to come to the front. They've got to take care of business right here. And act like the last series just didn't happen. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That'll go as a loss of five. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see him play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Side here and it's complete. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it stand up. So possession goes over here on the punt. First and 10 at their own 41-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And this could become a career-defining drive for some. Down three, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is where the legends are made in the National Football League as they begin this drive first and 10. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails in. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down the middle before getting this inside the 30. Give him 32 on the play. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown? That gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. He'll drop to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Oh no, he lost the football. And this will be scooped up by the defense. 
He's at the 50. The 30. The 20. 10. And he's going to bring the fumble back for a touchdown. Jackson. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Lambeau on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Cooper on the return. Well, it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. At their own 29-yard line. Austin's offense ready to go again. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Harris. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. They'll look to throw now on first down. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. It's second down and 10. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Well, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That gain on third down, good for 28. And a two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And down inside the 15, he goes. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. first goal at the four-yard line. Again, he'll drop the throw. His pass caught at the four. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. That catch good for only a couple. Up second and goal at the two-yard line. And it's caught. Touchdown. Two-yard touchdown grab. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. 
I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that drive in total eight plays. Score Express 49. That's 46. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This one fielded at the five. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. They'll take over. First down and 10 at their own 34-yard line. Back out comes San Antonio. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand-new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit, and you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Dobbins running out of the gun. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another run here with Dobbins. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Brings up third and eight. Now Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. He may try and run for this. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Move it around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bow. It's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.
the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.